Peace has its place, and tension has its place. When it comes to relationships, the purpose is not peace at all. The purpose is the creative, sexual, and erotic tension that is sparked by the interaction between the masculine and the feminine. And if one of the two forfeit their roles, if one resigns herself to nodding your head like a, like a little bobblehead doll, and just not challenging the man in your life, and pretending that you know, what he wants is peace, so I'll give that to him. He doesn't want someone that's going to challenge him. He doesn't want someone that's going to make him feel bad about himself. He wants someone that's going to massage his ego, and I'll give that to him. But it's a recipe for complete boredom. It doesn't work. It'll get you married, maybe. But it won't get him off of looking at other women. It won't get him off of digesting this porn stuff or being the addict towards sports and all the other things that infect men today. Because that creative tension is what creates a true erotic spark. Masculine and feminine represent two sexual poles. And we need both in order to generate heat. There is no room for that peace. I'm not saying there should be conflict. But the friction of a man and a woman who both participate equally in a relationship is what truly leads to both feeling engaged and in love. That's what leads to a true absorption in a relationship. When you begin to fall in love, that all-encompassing experience where the relationship is so stimulating that you feel you don't need anything else. You found exactly what you were looking for.